Hi there, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be discussing the nature of the nursing selection interview, including sample questions to expect on that day. And we start now. Applying to nursing has become one of the talks of the moment. It looks like Ghana is trained more nursing than it used to do, which is very important for every country anyway. Currently, many SHS graduates are interested in the nursing profession not only because of the passion, but it is positioned as one of the secure jobs anyone can get here in Ghana. In addition, you enjoy training allowance whilst in school every month. I mean, who does not like this kind of juicy offer? Because of this, it is assumed that over 100,000 applicants apply every year. More often than not, the selection interview is one of the bridges that connects you to the promised land and no one should be joking with it at all. That is why we are taking our time to explain all you need to know about a selection interview in sections. Make sure to check it out. In my previous video, we discussed tips and things or items that you need to have before you are called to come for the nursing selection interview. If you've not seen it, please check it out here. I'll leave a link to the description below. However, this video will capture what you need to know about a selection interview some questions and tips to help you pass your interview successfully all right after properly filling your forms online the school in question will invite you either by calling you on phone or sending you an sms the interview message contains all the details you need about the interview it looks like this and consists of the place of interview the time the things or documents you need to present on that day whether there will be an aptitude test or not and if accommodation would be made available up. Question. Do not delete your interview message. Some schools will check them. If your colleagues have received theirs but you have not seen yours, check it out from the ATI portal. Just log in with your PIN and Syria. Go to the notification area and the status there. If you are part of them, you will see it right there. If you are still not convinced and want to find out if you were invited for the interview or not, visit the school if you have the means. Locate the right office and they will help you out. After getting your interview message, make sure you pack all documents in one file and place it at where it can easily be accessible. Now, the nature of the nursing selection interview. Unlike other professional interviews, the nursing selection interview can feature any question at all. But you know, there are specific areas that you are likely to be examined. From the little research about these questions, I can group the interview questions and or score into 1. Your appearance on that day. 2. The way you express yourself in the interview room. 3. How abreast you are with the current affairs of the country that is your ministers and certain news, especially those that concern nursing and health in general. Four, a little bit of public health and an aptitude test. Before we delve deeper, let me shortly describe the interview panel to you. The interview panel consists of three panelists. It may consist of the principal of the school, someone from the district health directorate, or someone from the education office, and a health tutor, usually of higher grade. Always note that this may change depending on the school in question. Now, back to how they are going to score you in the interview room. Your first category, your appearance. Among the items or the things the interview message will not tell you is how to dress for the interview. It is because your appearance alone carries some specific points or marks on the day of interview. So you try your best to get a decent dress that is suitable for any professional interview. If you have no idea, follow these tips and you'll be able to score all the points allocated for appearance. I will start with the gentleman. Shave all your beard and keep a nice down hair cut. Well, for your mustache, you can keep it, but please make sure it is not too bushy. For your dress, find a nice plain black or ash two-piece suit with a long sleeved shirt, if and only if you can afford it. You can also go for a black ash or grey trousers with a white shirt and not getting your long tie. If you cannot afford any of these, get a nice long sleeved African wear with a black trousers. Wear them with a nice pair of shoes and do not forget your pair of clean socks. Always do your best to avoid colorful trousers like the pink, yellow, red and even blue. Note that these colors are too bright for the professional interview. Just try your best to keep it very simple, neat and gentle whilst you are trying to be very fashionable. Now, the ladies. I'll start with the hair. 
For the ladies, avoid colorful hairstyles and even wigs. A very simple short hairstyle will help you a lot. If you are keeping a natural hair, make sure to trim it well and avoid putting unnecessary lines or in the name of fashion. Always wrap long hairs so that it doesn't touch the back of your neck. And if you wear any makeup, make it very simple and not too conspicuous. For your dress, we have a two-piece suit with a plain shirt. Put it on. However, a black skirt with a white shirt wouldn't be a bad idea at all. If you can't afford any of this, get a straight decent dress, either plain or African print, or a beautiful office outfit. For your shoes, always go for a down shoe. Wearing high heel shoes will put you in trouble. So, as much as you want to dress for the marks that day, put it at the back of your mind to always keep it very simple. But amongst all, try to be in your comfortable dress and shoes. It will make you more confident and less anxious on that day. The second category have to do with how well you can speak on that day. That is self-expression. This is where they check to see how fluent you are in the English language as an applicant. In my previous video, I gave some tips on that, so kindly check it out. Because they are interested in your diction and your choice of words, they will ask you to describe or talk about something. It could be yourself, where you come from, the food you like best, and the festival that is celebrated in your town or tribe. Though they know you are in for the interview, they can ask you to tell them why you are in the room at that moment. A typical question is, tell us about yourself. In answering this, be very concise in your delivery. You can do this by telling the panel your name, that is your full name, age, where you come from, the school you attended, as in the SHS, the course you offered, and what you have been doing in the house. After answering, keep a smile, sit upright, and make sure to put your hands on your lap. If you want to use your hands, make sure you don't raise it above your shoulders. Similarly, we can ask you to narrate how you commuted from where you are staying to the school. Just as always, be very strategic in your delivery. They are interested in your choice of words and construction of sentences. Here, no one knows you or where you are coming from, so be very smart. Find something to tell them. Here is a short guide. You can reply to this question by telling them when you woke up, the time you left the house, and a little about what happened at the bus station. Did you join a queue? Well, tell them all about it. Don't end there. Make it more interesting. List some of the towns on the road to the said place. If you saw any landmark or a national tourist site along the way, do not hesitate to add it. This will earn you some points. The third session has to do with how abreast you are with the current affairs of the state. Here, they test your knowledge on the series of political events or social interest and major happenings in the country at the moment. They can ask you to tell them what you heard in the news on that day. So, you try to get specific headlines with their explanation in mind. Also, do you have to memorize the names of all ministers and their deputies. If you are finding this very difficult, Try to capture the Minister of Health, the Minister of Education, and the Member of Parliament in your municipality with their deputies. I believe this will help. The next category consists of questions that will test your general knowledge in nursing. Here, the motive is to assess your take on general issues, scenarios, and then circumstances. This is where they ask you to relate your program of study from the SHS to the nursing program. So, in case you offer general science at the SHS, you start to associate the importance of your electives to the nursing profession. Another typical question is, why do you want to be a nurse? Sometimes, if you are planning to become a community nurse, they can ask you to tell them what they do at the hospital, that is the specific duties of a community nurse. So, please do your best to read a little about the program you are applying to. Another interesting question, they can ask you to list the qualities that you possess, that you think or that makes you think that you can be a nurse. Similarly, they can ask you to list some of the departments we have at the hospital and their specific functions. So, please read a little bit about that too. Some of the questions are very specific to elective subjects. So, please, before you come to the interview room, make sure you have revised your notes. The next category, aptitude test. The aptitude test can either be verbal or written. In some schools, you may have to visit a day before the interview day to write an aptitude test. Schools that will not write this aptitude test will add it to the questions they ask you in the interview room. Most of these questions are very tricky and demand you take time before you answer them. But some can be simple mass calculation or dictation. 
If you are lucky, they will ask you to spell certain health related diseases and terms at the hospital like pneumonia, diarrhea, cerebrospinal meningitis, osteoarthritis, not forgetting some of the names like artesunate amodiaquine, artemita lumifatrine, stethoscope, and even the syringe. Some of these questions are to test your level of understanding and how you may react in a particular situation. A very common of such is Supposing a colleague at work administered the wrong medicine that killed a client in your presence as a nurse, what will you do? Let's get engaging. What do you think about this particular question? Please leave your answers in the comment section. Alright, so let's move to the next category, that is public health. Before you even enter the interview, make sure you understand most of the public health terms and issues that we have here in Ghana. This includes personal hygiene, epidemiology, that is, incidence, distribution, and possible control of diseases and other factors relating to health, and the disease prevention. Take this advice from me. You have to read more about the prevalent diseases you have in your locality and how to prevent them because there will be questions on that as well. You can read about the common ones, malaria, cholera, diarrhea, and even the childhood killer diseases that we have here. Now, in this era that we are battling with pandemic, make sure to read more about the coronavirus. It will help you a lot. Alright, having stayed up to this point, here are some few tips to help you along the way. 1. In most cases at the school, the interview is first come, first serve. So, you make sure to be there before the time that they've even stated in the interview message if you really want to leave earlier than expected. And mind you, you'll be asked to pay an interview fee, so please prepare for that. 2. When you enter the interview room, always make sure to keep a smile. Greet them and wait until they offer you a seat before you sit. After sitting, do not cross your legs and make sure that your feet is flat on the floor. Keep your heads up and always speak louder. 3. Do not try to impress anyone on the panel by answering more than what you're supposed to answer. Reply to the questions they ask you. And always note that some of the answers you give may give you a leading question, so be very careful. 4. Do not bring pity for favors in your answers. This will not work. Shun talking too much about the struggles of your family at the interview room. Avoid washing your dirty lining in public. This is a very bad practice. Keep your answers straightforward and simple. 5. When a panelist asks you any question, look straight into his or her eyes and answer whilst trying to engage the other panelists as well. 6. In answering the questions, please be very free but mindful. There are some statements you cannot take back. Some questions are to make you laugh out loud whilst you are feeling tense in the interview room and others are to check your temperament. So be very careful when you're answering some of these questions. The last tip. The time for the interview or the time that will be used in the interview room may differ from individual to individual. If you are lucky, you may use less than 5 minutes. Others may enter the room and spend more than 10 minutes. So after preparing, please take your time and pray for the favor of the creator to locate you on that day. If you find it very helpful, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share until it gets back to me. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Stay safe.